when we say Krishna, if he's only hanging on your wall, you think you own him because you're born in India, very sad. Is he a good man, is he a bad man, lot of debates are happening. No, he is not a good man or bad man, because I want you to understand your ideas of good and bad come from <laughs> your own sense of putting other people down in your mind. See, for example, I sit here and I think I am a very good man. How does this happen? He is not okay, she is not okay, he is not okay, she is not okay, he is not okay, she is not okay. Compared to all these people, I am a very good man. If I am the only man on this planet, would I know whether I'm a good man or a bad man? Hello? If I had nobody to put down in my mind, would I know whether I'm a good man or a bad man? But you would still know whether you are a joyful human being or a miserable human being. This is how you must see Krishna, a joyful human being. In any given situation, you put him in love, you put him in war, you put him in all kinds of strife, joyful human being. Even in a battlefield, he's cracking jokes. That says a lot about the man, okay? If it ins if he's inspiring that in you, that even when you have a little bit of war at home, not a gunfight, but just like that, you know, when even pots and pans fly, if you are still joyful, well, celebrate Krishna, fantastic. But if he's just an emblem and you think you own him because you're born in India, very sad. No, you… you can… even when he was alive, nobody could own him. You can't own him now because you're born in this country. The… the essence of what it means to be Krishna is, he's an unbridled life, exuberant, no matter what. Life was not kind to them, all right? Hello? Life has not been kind to him all kinds of extreme situations. Did it work out? No, it ended up in a terrible, disastrous battle. So I'm saying his whole mission was a total failure, but he still remained joyful and exuberant, not affected by what happens there. So this is because a human being is about his own physical and psychological process, because your physiological and psychological drama is your drama. Life is of a different nature. What you call as my body is an accumulation of what you have eaten. What you call as my mind is an accumulation of impressions that you've gathered. These accumulations do not define in any way what this life is about. This is the essence of Krishna. He is demonstrating it in every moment of his life. If you have any doubt about it, doesn't matter what conclusion you make about him, he proves it wrong and proves it wrong and proves it wrong because He's not going by any script, his exuberant life, this is how life should be.